and here we are again with this uh, wonderful little parrot. I um, decided to erase a little bit. I used this one, the Faber Castell eraser. It works like this. You can open it, and it has a very sharp edge, which makes it. Um, very precise. I really like it. And I erased this area of the wings because I had put in some shading that would need a lot more detail to work. And this bird on this first page in Magical Jungle is just too small, at least for my scales to give it the detail that it needs. So I erased it and I will now build up the color again and I'm starting with pale geranium lake. Just with a light touch. Now I have been erasing this area for several times now and I am experiencing some difference in the surface of the paper so I do not intend to erase again because I really think uh, this will uh, hurt the paper too much now I'm going to uh, add this one middle cadmium red I am now going to use this one, Caput Mortuum Violet. I'm using this color pretty often. It is a versatile color, you can use it for, for many different reasons. And um, I'm just using the light touch just to emphasize the side of the wings, or, or of the feathers I mean. Just the feathers. And then I will use this color to add a little bit of uh, extra shadow Now there is one thing that I want to do and it is very tricky because I want to add a little bit of shadow in the white area of this bird's face. So I'll take a deep breath and just give it a go. I'm using cold grey number four. 
and with a very sharp point again this is uh, the polychromos because I can make these very sharp points and they won't uh, they won't crumble as soon when you put it on the on the paper I'm just tapping, dabbing the color on this bird's face just a tiny bit. Just very carefully. I will now use a lighter gray, cold gray number two, again from the from the Polychromo series. Something strange is happening with these pencils. In every coloring book that I use these pencils, the po Polychromos, they smudge on my hands. And um, the strange thing is, when I use them in Magical Jungle, there's no smudging. How is that possible? Is it coincidence? Did, I, I, I don't know what the difference is. Would my hands stay clean? I'm very happy about that. So now I need to pick a red, the pale geranium lake, again with this very sharp point, to bring back these red veins that are in this bird's head, just like that. So. Now I'd like to let the eye be a little bit brighter. I'm using a light phthalo blue. Just a touch of it. And maybe a slightly darker touch as well. This is a phthalo blue. It's one of my favorite uh, colors. Look at this. It's just a touch of blue. So this is um, my parrot so far. And I think I will leave it like this. It could well be that when I continue this page, I will come back to the bird in a later stadium to add some more uh, color. But so far I, uh, well, this was a good exercise and uh, I hope uh, you liked it and uh, I see you uh, in one of my videos, other videos, I hope, and until then, bye bye.